When you have the equipment ready, please turn on the incubator by switching on this power button beneath the shell. In the display, this is the temperature of the unit, and this is the temperature of the infant, and this is the humidity. You can change the settings by pressing this button, unlock the key lock, and then choose between temperature and humidity here. And you can change the skin, air and skin temperature by pressing this button. It'll change the value here. And you can change the setting by pressing up and down of these buttons and then press enter. And it'll automatically be set to the temperature that you want. You will see the system chunk screen first before running. On the LCD panel, you will see different information displayed depending on the functions you have in the incubator. Beside the display, there are a few buttons. This button is a key lock button to prevent the misuse of the control panel. When the LED is on, the key is locked. When you press this once, the key is unlocked. When there is no movement, it will automatically be locked after 10 seconds. This button is a mute on. When there is an alarm and if you press this button, the alarm will be muted. This is the key to select the parameter for setup and select temperature and humidity. This is the key to select the mode between air temperature control and skin temperature control. You can manipulate the value by using this up and down button and then entering the value by this button. When the, when the override mode is on, the LED will be on. When the AC power cord is disconnected, there will be light on this button. When you want to change the settings, you have to press the unlock button and then go to the menu. And you can, go, you can use this knob to menu over to the different menus. You can go to the system to see the temperature of the unit weight of the unit and you can select the language from here English, Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, Polish, and French. You can, you can choose the time and you can choose the warm-up mode from normal, fast, and silent. If you go to the alarm, you can select the silence period SPO to alarm delay, PR beep volume, and if you go to the trend, you can see the trend period, trend display data. If you go to the modules, you can choose the calibration if you have auto control option. You can select the monitor mode if you have the CCD camera uh, with the Massimo SPO2. You can choose the different modes from Massimo mode, Camera mode, and Graph mode. If you go to the SPO2, you can see different you can see different settings for the SPO2 algorithm mode, fast set, SPO2 averaging, SPO2 alarm limit, PR alarm. Limit. If you go to the weight, you can zero the scale.